John Woodcock. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I, I know the whole, the whole House will want to associate themselves with the words she has just spoken about, the Manchester attack. Now, she may not have long left, and good luck with those meetings later today, but she can act now against the return of banned chemical weapons. British experts are this morning investigating a suspected chlorine attack by al-Assad in Idlib. Will, if it is proved, will she lead the international response against the return of this indiscriminate evil? Yeah. Well, the, Minister. the Honourable Gentleman is right to raise the issue of the evil of the use of chemical weapons. We, of course, acted in Syria with France and the United States uh, when we saw chemical weapons being used in Syria. We, of course, suffered uh, the use of chemical weapons here on the streets of the United Kingdom and took a robust response supported by our international friends and allies. And we condemn all use of chemical weapons. We are in close contact with the United States. We are monitoring the situation closely. And if any use of chemical weapons is confirmed, we will respond appropriately. But our position is clear. We consider Assad incapable of delivering a lasting peace, and his regime lost its legitimacy due to its atrocities against its own Syrian people. Antoinette Sandbach. Thank you, yeah, uh, yeah, Mr yeah, Speaker. Yeah. Does the Prime Minister agree that energy efficiency measures are critical in tackling t um, climate change? Bringing every home up to a EPCC standard could save 25% of electricity generation, yeah, yeah, yeah. the equivalent of six nuclear Hinkley Point nuclear power stations. It could save every family £270. Uh, 